In this video, I'll show you how to apply a glowing edge effect to make the borders between map areas stand out. This effect is traditionally used on political maps and is applied to areas like countries or counties or whatnot. So let's start with uh, the area of Spain here. The first thing I'm going to do is turn off some of these other things just so that we can see it a little bit better. So I'm turning off my labels and my cities and highways. I'm going to grab my direct selection tool and just select this area of Spain that is a compound path. And you'll notice, first off, that Spain is actually uh, drawn using a few different compound paths here that seem to have these really straight line segments between them. And this is just yet another artifact of the way that ArcMap has output this Illustrator file with different shapes. Uh, so I'm going to hold shift and select that other area to the, the very northern edge of Spain. And then there's a third little area down here. I'll hold shift and select that. And then come up to my window menu here and grab the Pathfinder and use this Unite Shape Mode that we learned about before to unite all those into a single compound path, just so that we're working with a single area that represents the entirety of Spain. I think actually there are a few more, whoops, I think there are a few more areas up here, so I'll zoom in and grab them as well and add them to that shape. There, I think, well, there's another one here. So you can see that there really is no perfectly automated way of doing this. We just sort of have to make sure that we're getting all of Spain included here. Okay, so now that we have that shape uh, united as a whole, the way that we apply this effect is by going up to the Effect menu and then Stylize, and we want to add an inner glow. I'm going to turn on Preview just so we can see what the options that we're uh, applying here do. First of all, we want to use a just normal mode for this inner glow. So I'll change the mode to normal. And we want to use a color for this. Uh, let's just use sort of a, a royal blue for the time being. And you can start to see that there's this sort of haze that is showing up around the edges. If we want to make that a little bit thicker, then we could change the blur so that it's a little bit larger. We don't want to go too large here. So maybe a blur of of 12 or 14 points. Let's make that 12 points. And you want to make sure that that glow is around the edges rather than the center. If we were to change it to center, then it would just sort of invert the way that it's glowing. And then finally, this opacity option here changes uh, the, the degree to which the blue is entirely saturated at the edge or is somewhat transparent. Uh, and 75 is, is a, a good sort of setting for that if you don't want it to become too saturated around the edges. I'll hit OK and then deselect and you can see that it's created this nice sort of soft glow around there. And the tradition in political maps is to make adjacent is to give adjacent areas different colors with that glow. So I can go ahead and select Portugal for instance and go and apply that same inner glow using a different color. So maybe we'll change that to a red. We'll preview it just so you can see what's what it would look like and hit OK. And that really helps pop out this border region, which in a political map is one of the most important features of the map, is, is defining that area between these regions.